Hello and welcome to Gotham Sound TV. Uh, I am Peter Schneider. I'm here with Scott Bolin from Reading Audio. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> not sure about anything right yeah, now. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, and uh, Scott is here to talk to us about Rycote. Uh, the new Rycote, um, curiously named Cyclones, uh, new models, right? Yeah, n new and were announced about a year ago, but now really just in the past few months have come to fruition mm -hmm. in the sense of production being available. Excellent. So, um, so I'm here to talk about where we were, where we've come, mm -hmm. and where we're going with the line. Uh, so. Excellent. Well, uh, let's start with uh, the beginning. Where were we? Well, two years ago, we actually did an event with you guys with a big giant cake, if you remember, <laughs> over at the old location, yeah, uh -huh. um, where we launched the Cyclone, which, you know, for Ryko, this was the top of the line, state of the art, you know, ups, upscale windshield that they designed, um, completely different than the classic parallel side, which everybody's familiar with, which they still make and are still developing. Um, so if you look at the three things that are important for microphones in a windshield, it's the shock isolation, the wind protection, and how it sounds. So they endeavored to take all those three main points and make a windshield that improves that compared to the traditional designs. So the basic um, large windshield, the black one, yeah. basically met those standards above what they, what they wanted to do. So essentially getting material that's not fur, that you can get the same performance as you do with a Rycote former windshield with fur. So that was the basic thing of what they were, they were going for, which of course it did achieve that. So where, where would this fit in, in terms of, um, is, it, is it a premium above the existing Zeppelin? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yeah, in, 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 every, in every fashion. So, um, so, so there's the softy. I don't know, Jared, if we have any, um, any stills of any of these products, but we have the softy, which is kind of the entry level. Softy, slip-on, right. and super softy, which uses that black 3D text mm -hmm. material, which is an upgrade for there, so it, that he uh, protects in the lower frequency range better than a classic mm -hmm. parallel-sided softy. And then you move up to the, like the super shield or super blimp, which is the, uh, the pod. Right. with the central chassis pod. Um, and then you go to the, the modular system and then the windshield 416 Perfect 4, which is a variation of that, which is that next level with the full-blown wind jammer and the, and the modularity of the, of the suspension and things like that. Sure. And then you kick up to the next level, the top level so being this. Top level cyclone. Absolutely. What, yeah. what, and so uh, that's where we were. And now where, where are we now? So, you know, the Rycote is, you know, boldly going where nobody else really is going, we're developing material without fur. Everybody's safe with fur, but obviously it has its disadvantages. So they developed the original black 3D text. And number one, everybody, believe it or not, complained that it was black. They wanted the right coat gray back. Uh-huh, okay. So was that because of reflection issue? They, I, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Just comfort level? Just, or? I, I guess, yeah, yeah. you know, big domineering thing. So, um, so in their search to, to improve, so they have the original material, um, and like anything, you look, the first thing you do when you make something is want to improve it. So they did all this research, hey, we're looking at the gray material, and they came up with this material, which if you, if you compare it from the old one, it's more closed cell than, mm -hmm. the, than the black material was. So performance-wise, even smoother across the, the frequency range. So uh -huh. there's no peaks whatsoever. No peaks, meaning um, so wind hits it. Wind hints it, yeah, yeah. So there's, there's no peaks. The old material had a couple little peaks that we didn't like, uh -huh. so this smoothed that out. Uh -huh. It's all spectral type of smoothing for that. Got it. So t transparent, acoustically transparent. Completely, tr completely. Got it. A as much as you can be with putting something around it. Sure. And so, and also too, for high winds, this material alone, before you put a wind jammer over it, performs better than the old one. Uh-huh, and that's uh, no wind jammer on this versus no wind jammer on the older one. Correct. Uh, Once you put a jammer on it, I mean, it's the, the acoustic transparency is compromised, of course, uh -huh. but the wind protection is just off the charts. Cool. Okay. So, so if you're going to strap it onto a car, a truck, doing a moving shot, you're going to be in a, a gale, put the wind jammer on, you're good. But for most things that you would normally just use a regular Zeppelin with a wind jammer on, you can get away without, without it. it on this. Right. So... The, um, the transparency even improved a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is the medium, 
And that's so, the initial one that came out. No, the large was. The large was longer, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So this is the medium, uh -huh. and now this sort of took the place of most of the mics that were going into the large, mm -hmm. with the addition of the special cable, which I'll show you in a second. All right. So wind is very complicated. So most of the time you'll see um, specifications for wind. Yeah. Like somebody says, oh, it's minus 40 dB, 50 dB wind detection. Mm -hmm. Usually they're putting it in front of a wind machine sure. straight on at zero mm -hmm. axis. And as you know, because you work in the field, wind is very complicated with mm, right. where it comes from. <coughs> uh -huh. So RICO has actually been heading up research to come up with an AES standard for how wind is measured and what you, a specification would be for wind attenuation. Okay, fascinating. So, huh. Yeah, so they're working with leading mic manufacturers, but RICO is leading it up. So right now, like I say, there's, there's all these uh, lambda flow, they call it, um, where when wind hits from all different angles, it, it's different. You know, your wind, you know, wind attenuation um, is going to be completely different at zero than it is from sure from, from the from, side, from which is side. often. I mean, it's almost never when you're booming dialogue going straight up. Usually, to the come side. from the side and from yeah. the back. Yeah. So this particular, these new windshields are fantastic in those scenarios. Good, which even better than than before. So, so that's something that, that they're developing. And just so you can't see somebody who has like a little tiny bit of fur and they stick it on the front of a bare mic and say, it's minus 60 dB. Uh -huh. So there's going to be a, you know, exact standard for how this, and obviously Ryko cream rises to the top, you know, Good. for that. So one of the, uh, the obviously features that if people know is the uh, Cyclone is that it's just quick and easy. Yeah. So magnetic on the... Uh, on a pods, obviously we've talked about this to, at nauseum, so we don't really need to talk about that. The thing that allowed them to take the 416, the CMIT, mm -hmm. the 4017B, mm -hmm. from the large into the medium is the short XLR. So Rycode is manufacturing this, they designed it. Uh -huh. So. Not only is it a short XLR, but there's an RFI shield in here. Huh, okay. Okay, so it's glued, so I can't show you, but inside there, it's actually a, a metal cone mm -hmm. that completely surrounds the, uh, the back of this, the uh, XLR connection. Great. And it's soldered to pin one. Uh -huh. So it's a shunt, boom, right to pin one. So that's sort of a, an extra assurance yeah. thing, because once you put a, a mic on here, put a plug on here, mm -hmm. you know with the plug on, it turns this thing into a big antenna. Just extra help, which is uh, a nice feature to, uh, to have there. Huge, that's great. Huge, right? So, so that allowed everything to be downsized. So now this medium windshield, which is only, what is the, uh, the weight of it? It's only 22 ounces mm -hmm. yeah. um, with it. So now from the, from the large size, this is like ideal weight. So distribution of balance when you're booming, how it feels, wind protection, actually just good, better than before. Um, and of course, more acoustically transparent. Uh, fantastic, good. Yep. And for those who have it, this comes off. Right. So you can literally go from outdoors, indoors. in the wind, yeah. to indoor shot within three seconds. Right. This pops right off, they keep this off so if you're no ceiling. Yeah, Almost. sure, sure, sure. That's great. That's fantastic. Another improvement that they made, which kind of has gone a little bit unnoticed, is the boss here. So the original boss that they had was similar to like an Envision mm -hmm. 7, um, which worked quite well, um, but literally with the weight, some, you know, you put a 416 in, in this mic, it's pretty heavy, you know, in, in relation to when you're throwing it around and things. So this new boss, I mean, literally you'll break thing off before yep. you'll, mo you'll move that. So that's, an, that's one of the improvements from, you throw it out in the field, people come back and say, love this thing, but can you, can you work on this? Yeah, it's incredibly versatile. Yeah, yeah. It, you can, you know, it's all set up for a quick release, um, you know, because the cable's built into it, yep. indoor to outdoor, back to indoor. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And all the research is done, I mean, this thing is on an angle, so you, you, you put on an ambient quick release or just a pole at the end, mm -hmm. it's not going to bang against the collars. Right. Things like that, that uh, a lot of research w was done there. And uh, another thing, when you, when you buy this, uh, the medium, you get two sets of liars. You know, as we were discussing before, liars become sort of a mysterious thing where people, oh, there's 72, what does shore mean? Yeah. You know, there's 62 shore, there's 68, uh -huh. 72, 82. So, H help us understand. 
The, uh, the sure has to do with the, the hardness of the liar. Uh -huh. So the principle of this is the compliance, again, which we've talked about in, in the past of, of restricting the movement from side to side, up and down, but to let free movement mm -hmm. in, the, in the sound wave. So sometimes with the harder liar, you know, it's going to hold the microphone better, but you're giving meaning, up a little. less vibration, uh, less, less movement. Yeah, it's, it's heavier, right. so it's more rigid. Got it. so, so sometimes if, if you're going to do, like with a 416, you're going to do a running shot, holding, booming, this and that, uh, down a corridor, mm -hmm. you might want to throw the 72 Shores, which are identified by the, by the light gray color. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So those are an option to get. But in the kit, you all, these are the 72, which is a standard, which is good for almost everything. Mm -hmm. But you also get a set of 62. So if you've got a CMIT, uh -huh. it's nice to put the 62s on. Why is that? Lighter, so lighter mass. Uh -huh. So the lighter microphones are, are just like a heavy microphone is, is hard to isolate. The lighter microphones have a new set of problems when trying to, uh, to isolate them. So it's really about finding the right tension based on the weight of the microphone. Yeah, mass of the microphone and, uh, and the tension of, of the liars. Uh -huh. Another trick that people do, which, is, which we recommend, like something like CMIT or the DPA 4017, put the 72 on the front and put the 62 on the back. Huh. So you Why sort of get sort of like a fulcrum. Uh huh. And so you get f freer motion in the back, but where the interference tube is, it's, more, it's rigid. more rigid. Uh huh. Yeah. Interesting. So, so you just get a little different balance than, than what you do normally. And all, all of those different options are included when you buy The it. 72 and 62 are in the medium kit. Uh -huh. The 62 alone are only in the small, because obviously you're not going to. Smaller microphone, lighter microphone. Exactly. Got it. Um, so that's what you get in here. And you can always, I mean, they're 29 bucks a pair to get the the 72, which are the light gray ones. Sure. So that's an option uh, for you there. Uh, very cool. Very yeah, this, uh, the, the medium now is, is going to work with CMIT 4017, yeah. 416, where's my list, uh, 4017B, uh, or the original before it was to be, NTG3, Neumann KMR81, CS1, CS2, and uh, a 641 with a cut filter, uh -huh. either a cut one or the new cut 60 goes in this guy. Cool. And I guess this is a good opportunity to talk about um, cables. These are for that. Uh -huh. so Only for that. So that. Those are for that. So let me, I want to mention one last thing sure. before we move on to that. Anybody uh, who gets a close look at this will notice that the Rycote Liar technology mm -hmm. is, just show the, show the is yeah. in, in the suspension and then in here. So what this, this little arm does, it's a floating suspension. So not only are you isolating the, um, excuse me, the, the microphone from the basket. What is in the way here? Sorry. Mm -hmm. So this is a basket, floating basket suspension. So they're using the liar technology to float the basket. Uh -huh. Give you about 15 dB of extra so attenuation. The basket is floated and then within the basket, the mic is floated. Exactly. Separately. Yeah. Wow. So the basket's being isolated from the suspension and the pole. Yeah. So the key thing to know here is that if you look at the different models, mm -hmm. like the large, you'll see that these are red. In the medium, they're green. Got it. And then in the small, they're blue. And it's not just to be fancy to have like colors. It's actually telling you something about the rigidity of, of the system. Understood. So if you own a large, you can buy the, the mediums. You can get away with going from a large and a medium back and forth. Uh -huh. But if you have the small, don't go buy the medium or large pods and stick it on because the suspension is consistent on all of them. Got it. Got it. So, uh -huh. so that's giving you this different weight grade. So obviously on the small, you're going to get... You want something less elastic. More, on more, the small. more elastic. Yeah. On the small. Interesting. yeah, because there's less mass for the whole, for the whole system. Interesting. So that's, uh, that's the medium. So what's, what's happening with this guy, which is great, and also that when we're talking about what's next. Mm -hmm. So now we just have mono systems for shotguns and for condenser mics. Yep. So what's going to happen Q1 next year um, is when they're going to start unveiling stereo and double MS for these guys. Sweet. And so that'll, that'll have a whole new set of cables, presumably, and a whole new set of shock mics. The, I, I've seen the, the drawings of what the suspension uh, you know, clips and everything are going to yeah. be. Unbelievable, beautiful, like highly engineered, not just like a, a clip on top of another clip and, you know, um, things like that. Really beautiful design work based off of getting proper spacing between the mics, because usually that's a problem. You want to get yep. your diaphragms in the right spacing. 
and you know as lightweight as possible using different new technologies that they have. So it's going to be really nice just because this again is is the pinnacle of transparency and wind protection. So to transfer out of the classic 145 millimeter diameter Ryko parallel sided windshield into into this, it's going to be great. So um, so I'm mentioning this now to put pressure on our friends at Ryko to, to make that happen. And first quarter, For, they're telling me Q1. Uh -huh. So now I guess I have to meet that. Yeah. But um, the amount of people who want stereo in these things is unbelievable. Yes. So, you know, nobody really does stereo, and Ryko does it great now, and it's going to get even better now. Now, um, for those people who are using a 418, a Sennheiser 418 in that, yeah. um, can, can you get a, a five-pin cable? Yeah. Um, essentially, you can get a con box. Uh -huh. So you can get a con box. There's a special little L bracket that attaches to the back there to hold the con box up right. to get the proper loop in the cable. So it's not this cable. Huh. So uh, it would just be a regular con box right. four. Yeah, got it. So, but again, as the that stereo stuff is unveiled, kits with that all built into it's going to be available. Perfect. And then as perfect as accessories, so you can upgrade a mono to get the, the parts to build into a stereo or a DMS. Perfect. And while we're talking about the medium uh, map price and availability, it's six twenty nine on the shelf. On the shelf. So yeah, that was one of the things we were waiting for for uh, for quite a while to get the production. You know, the backlog for pre-orders was huge. So before we can get them on the shelf, so now we have all the models on the shelf ready to go for the first time. So which is great. Awesome. Small. Let's go to small. Besides being smaller, one thing that you'll notice right out of the gate is it looks a little different is the bottom of the suspension. So here they uh, include, which you can remove this by the way if, if it's something that you don't want. Mm -hmm. You can just take it all off and, and pop it just like the other one. Is a sort of mic axis articulation arm. Hmm. So kind of two things are happening here. If, be because it's so short and stubby, your boom pole kind of crosses really close to the, to the front of the windshield. Uh -huh. So this is to set back the windshield uh -huh. for when you're doing that to keep the boom possibly out of, sure. out of range. Yeah. And secondly, it, and I'll hand this to you in a second, it, it purposely puts the center of balance to the front so it's sort of doing the work for you. Yeah, interesting. Feel oh yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's like a little offset. I don't know if everybody can see it. Yeah. So yeah, an and that's including the kit. It comes, it comes on there. And again, if somebody wants to, you know, shed a half an ounce or whatever that this thing weighs, or they prefer to have it direct center mounted, right? Just can get rid of that. Right. Easy. So the small, the standard small XLR. So there's different variants. We'll talk about the XLR one first. Mm -hmm. Where again, here's that RF shield, that short XLR again. Yep. And the cable. Perfect for the for the MKH50. Yeah and for a CMC 641, those mics. The, the balance, everything right out, of, right out of the kit, ideal for that. So you're gonna get, uh, you know, the MKH microphones, either the 8060, 8050, and this, they're not the easiest things to, to, to isolate. Yes, um, but yeah, my personal experience with the 50 is that's true, yeah. Yep. So um, right out of the gate when these, these came out, the, the responses were, this is great for, for this mic right out of the box as, as it is. And the 62 li short liars are what comes standard on uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's light. So it's nice and, uh, nice and isolated for compliance. So either you can buy a variant as a kit out of the box, mm -hmm. or you can add cables to adapt particular microphones into this windshield. First would be, the tacit filter cable. Looks identical to this, except it'll have a little purple thing on here. Uh -huh. And this is an add-on cable alone. It's also for the medium as well, in the large. It has a 60 hertz third order uh, filter. Low cut. Low cut. Uh -huh. Yeah, so 18 dB per octave, low cut built in. And that's not the standard one, that, that would be an option. Option. Got it, okay. Yeah. You know, you start toying around, should we just put it in, should we not? Yeah. People who want to do sound effects, want to record sure. things, they want full spectrum, yeah. so you don't mess with that. So you put it as an option. It's relatively cheap, it's not an expensive option. But you're identified with a little purple boot. But that's a nice cable to have if you're, if you're booming. Yeah. And um, 
there's all kinds of philosophies about yeah. you know Sheps. You you know if you have a Sheps, you put put the filter here and right. get the cut 60 now. That's ideal, so you can um, cut before the amplifier. Um, but if you don't have that, having an active filter before the front end of your mixer is the second ideal scenario. So they built it, built in. It's an active filter, PC board right in the, in the connector. That's good. Secondly, we have the variant, so you'd have a CCM, mm -hmm. a Limo variant. So this is the Sheps Limo, this is a CCM 41. This guy could be mounted right on here. And when you get it, you get the special clip for the back. It Got doesn't it. come on the standard XLR one, and you put the Sheps in here. So as far as the amount of dead air space around a microphone, yeah. it's quite a bit. It's ideal for, for this, this guy right yeah. here. So that would be the Cyclone Small um, Limo variant. Mm -hmm. A little more money, of right. course, because the Limo connector alone is 40 sure, bucks. Sure, sure. Um, but in all things considered, it's actually not, not too bad. And then the, the MZL, which this is a one of those game changer cables because yeah. they get this MZL ca cable from Sennheiser. They build it uh, with their XLR, the special cable. So now in the small, you can put 8060. Uh-huh. Really have a very compact. Super, very super compact. Yeah. Fits beautifully in there. So you can obviously put this guy in there, the yeah. 8050, mm -hmm. but because it's so small, taking you're, you're not gaining much by, by right. doing this because it fits in there so perfect as it is. Right. But uh, if, let's imagine this was an 8060. Uh -huh. It's longer than it really appears to be. You have the cable in there, and you're putting an 8060 in this guy. is just great. That's very slick. Yeah. And then, of course, the lighter liars for that microphone yeah. is perfect. So that's uh, uh, super cool. And, and are all of these options available? All available. All available. And all available on the shop. So uh, map and availability on, on the small is? Small with the XLR, yeah. $599. Uh -huh. You add a Limo. So the Limo variant is $779. Uh -huh. And then the MZL, obviously it's, it's an expensive part in itself, is uh, $799. And you can you can get all the cables separately. Like yep. if you can upgrade or change yep. options. That's where these came from. I ripped them and out of the package. Customer, the shop. Uh, yeah. customer serviceable and yeah. Like oh yeah, just yeah. Take the stock cable out, put a new cable in. Yeah, I mean it comes out super easy. You just unplug it here and you just pull it out. This screws right off because this is be just being locked down into there. Awesome. Awesome. So again, that's, that's kind of where we're at. It's a, anybody who's tried the original Cyclone, if they liked it, mm -hmm. you know, obviously these are smaller, so the balance is great, and the improvements I think are well worth look at, looking at for uh, for these microphones. Yeah. Now, ha has that top piece always been removable? Yes. Okay. So I think you know, for me, that's the most exciting thing is to have one mount yep. that can go in in indoor to outdoor. Um, you know, this is a little bit, I see the benefit of having the offset when you're using it with the, with the Zeppelin around it. But by itself. By it's itself, it's a, you'd, you'd want to pop that off. Um, of but yeah, I think um, it's, it's pretty amazing. You have the option, you know, to, to do that. Uh, all right, and so f uh, future from Ryko, we hope to see uh, an AES standard and um, solutions for stereo um, and stereo, double Stereo, double MS, and, and even XY with the small guys. Wow. So, so right now we have the stereo extended ball gag MSXY mount for, and really it only works perfectly with the Sheps, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, but their the new designs that they have will be a little more versatile for for other microphones and being able to adjust the angle and they fit, you know, a picture a couple of these guys right in this would be. Yeah, beautiful. It's because beautiful. It, that's the only solution for for compact um, XY. Yeah, single now single and, the, and this yeah. is a significant improvement of, of yeah. what we have now. Keeps the and mic diaphragms close and on. Yeah, yeah. I mean that spacing is uh, is really important, which you you can't really do with back to back clips because you need the mass of the in the middle right. of the clip to make it all work. Right. And it kind of you usually get a little higher spacing that and then then you then that's ideal. You know. Any uh, any questions? No questions. Um, that's, that's only because we explained it so well. Well, I, I would like to think so. Uh, <laughs> anything you want to add? Anything that uh, we should be on the lookout for? And, and anybody here? Yeah, I mean, this, um, I mean, for me, they're, they're going to continue to develop Cyclone, obviously, with what we call phase three, with the, the stuff we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 
Rycote's all about innovation and kind of advancing what they what they already do. So you know they're going to if there's something in this system that can be improved, they're going to they're going to improve it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for me, and there's some thickness to this skin here too. Um, for me, the most exciting thing is how quickly it can be assembled and unassembled. Yeah, it's yeah, that, really that was one of the in the brief when we were um, designing this. That was one of the the main. Think. You know, when you go ask a thousand people, what do you want in a windshield that, mm -hmm. that you don't have now? That was, you know, access to the microphone and changing from outdoor to indoor was pretty high on the, on the list. Yeah, nailed it. So, cool. boom, and that's what magnets do. And, and what you'll see also, too, is just like anything, like a car or a computer, you know, they develop all these new technologies, state of the art, um, for the top of the line stuff, and then you see it start trickling down. So some of this, you know, things that they've learned with here are trickling down on some current products, mm -hmm. and then future products, you'll, you'll see some of these technologies. To give you one example, I'll just I'll, like grab this guy. Um, this is the windshield 416. Mm -hmm. So typical parallel sided um, windshield that you put a jammer over it. But as you can see, the, the short cable, RF cable, is now in this guy. This is part of the Perfect 4 range. This is the windshield 416, which oh. this whole windshield is optimized for the MKH 416. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's tough as nails. Yeah. Boom, it doesn't break. That was, that was on purpose. Yeah. And uh, so you have the RFI protected XLR with this cyclone cable, as we call it, with the silicone sleeve, and then this offset. So now all boom adapters from Rycote are going to have this XLR holder as part of it. Oh, that's great. Which is great. Yeah, very cool. So, Good. Um, so any of the kits, um, higher end stuff that has this boom adapter with the modular suspension will have, have this. So there's two, two technologies from Cyclone that's already trickled down mm -hmm. into their standard series, which even parallel sided windshields like this 416, they're not just going, ah, we, we're not going to use fur anymore. We're not going to use stuff. They're going to continue to develop that. Good. And, um, you know, because sometimes people, you know, having this type of windshield doesn't fit broadcast truck, you know, with slots. Right. You know, this might not fit their needs. So parallel sided wind jammer type right. screens is, are always going to be needed. Cases. Always going to be used. And they're going to continue to develop that and improve that as well. Um, by the way, is there a wind jammer, like a proper wind jammer for yeah, this? Yeah, it, it doesn't come in the kit, yeah. but it, it's an option. Absolutely an option. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, uh, again, uh, I think people buy the wind jammer when they buy this because. You can't take 40 years of conditioning uh -huh, uh -huh. and it's just throw it in the trash. It's a certain comfort level, yeah. It's an absolute comfort level. And of course, you know, if you go and, and you're in a, uh, in a super windy situation, it helps. And again, I mean, when you put that, that, that wind jammer on there, the, the wind attenuation's off the charts. All right. I mean, I, yeah, personally, I think I would buy the wind jammer at the time just so that I would have all situations taken care exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so you can go indoor normal wind situations to, to gale force and you're, you're covered in every way. And of course, maintaining all the properties of the, the microphones you're sticking into it, so. Amazing, yeah. uh, very, very cool. Thanks, thank you for stopping no, by. No, great, glad to be here. This is uh, Excellent. my home away from home. Yeah. Home sound. Um, all right, will you hang around just while we sort of read the outro? Yeah. Um, next time, Tuesday, October 18th, body pack recorders. Um, yeah, Juice Link uh, has their little darling. Um, there's a Tascam DR10L, which um, is, uh, there was a, a previous kind of version that's not available in the States, but the DRN, DR10L is available. Um, and of course, it's Axcom ZFR200 and ZFR300. Um, Nick Houston will be comparing the merits of those. Um, it should be a good one. I will be uh, assisting Henry Cohen next week at the debates, the final presidential debate, so I won't be here. Time code day, October 23rd. Yes. I will be here. Me and too. so will you. I'll be here and I'll actually have the infamous Klaus Grosser from Ambient here? Munich here no way. at Gotham Sound. Yeah, he's flying in. That's exciting. Yeah, well, it's important to yes. be here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I mean, so he, yeah, so he's going to be here. And he is, you know, he's the technical development uh, guy yes, yes. for all this. Not only is he a great guy, but he's a guy you want to ask about time code. Yeah, um, so you, you all should come here. Um, what, we're having uh, pizza, right? What are we having? No? <laughs> 
Um, it's also in Atlanta. Oh, and also um, so it'll guessing. all be uh, piped to Atlanta as well, so there'll be um, some kind of fancy Skype connection. Um, and yes, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, follow us, Facebook and Twitter video archives, where I'm sure they will cut out all of the awkward questions I've asked you today um, on Vimeo and YouTube. And as always, ideas and, uh, to info at GothamSound.com and Lastly. Last but not least, Gotham Sound Expo in Boston, November 6th. Be there. Thank you.